Okay, this is part two, which everyone's waited for a long time. This is going to show the uh, rig of the boat. The uh, standard gunter rig. First thing I did is this, topping lift. And the advantage of the topping lift is, if you want to lower the sail, it stops it falling in the sea. And it lets you uh, drop the sail on any point of sailing. Right, stop there, John. between them so even if you're uh, running the gaff can still come down cleanly so you can always get the sail off if the wind suddenly pipes up and you get caught on the run so you see these these are for pulling down the sail these are for tying in the bunt of the sail when it's down there's another one here this is a reef pendant pulling the sail down to lower this so that we keep the gaff right up close to the mast. Two halyards, which I'll show you in a moment. So when I'm lowering it, it's now going to be supported by another one here in the lower position. It's now supported in the lower position, which you can do entirely by feel. Now, having lowered the uh, mast, the gaff down to its new position, we now pull in this reaching line to cover up the sail. Like that. This one. These are on the starboard side so that you've got right in the way while you're messing around doing it. All on the starboard side. And here we are. So it's now reefed. It's good enough in rough heavy weather. If you want it to be tidy, reef knot. So on all of them. And that's, uh, that's all that's necessary to reduce canvas. I just want to show uh, how the two halyards are connected to the gaff or the yard. So this one is for reefing. This halyard is the normal one, which will be attached, say, in that position. And this would be the one for the reef position. So you need at the top of the mast another little sheave. This simple way of fixing it is going to waste space. You don't want the uh, gaff to fall away from the mast. It just passes through a ring and you can just clip on the other one there. And you can do the same with the other one, which holds it in close to the mast. At the masthead, this is a, a pad eye, which has a strong point. There's one on, on both sides. And the topping lift topping lift comes up from the boom through there around behind the mast and uh, in front of the mast rather emerges the other side so they're just looped at the top of the mast in effect and all the adjustment is done on the boom itself and also suspended from this which is a very good strong point there's a block which is used for the reefing halyard which is there so uh, you need this flexibility for when the, uh, the boom is going to change its position during sailing. That's in addition to the standard halyard sheave that you get on the mirror. OK, so now I'll show you what happens with the jib. So to, get, to be sure I'm getting it down on a blow, there is here down hole which is attached to the top of it. So, how do you go and pull the sail, pull down the jib and that one? Because it won't come down by itself, If you want to reduce sail with the jib, uh, most people have ro roller reefing, but I've got traditional points reefing. So, what the first thing you do is make the tack, you can lower it a bit. Put the tack attachment onto a higher point, or the clue attachment onto a higher point like that. And then we can clip on the tack onto a higher point here. 
and then we roll off the surplus. Got to remember you're doing this on the pitching deck of the boat to see. <laughs> this is traditional. Roll that up. Roof not. Roll this up. And tie this in. Best to go on a couple of times in reality. Get it strong, mashing, tying, etc. Chip briefed. Not as quick as the other one. Best to do it on land before you start. Okay, that's the reef jib. Now I've also on the boat I've recently fixed it up with a gaff sail, a true gaff sail, which works excellently. And all the same ropes and rigging uh, work the same. So there's no modification, you just supply a gaff with a square sail on it and it works and it's brilliant. So we'll do that on part three when I get round to it.